Headmaster Mike Fairclough first hit the British newspaper headlines in 2013 for taking his young pupils clay shooting. This launch into the media spotlight could have gone horribly wrong, but it didn't. Helped by his eccentric styling and charm, he found plenty of column inches and airtime to explain his alternative teaching skills at West Rise Junior School in East Sussex. Alternative for some, but not all. There's um, an alarming rise in the reported cases of anxiety and depression in young people. Well, um, in order to combat that, we need to make sure that children are more resilient. Now, in order for them to be more resilient, we have to get them out of their comfort zone. So that means taking them outside when it's snowing, when it's raining, when it's cold, so that they have new experiences and then they, they gain more of a resilience, which then, of course, equips them for later life. Mike leases an area of land from the local council. After some run-ins with trading standards concerning movement licences, some well-received advice from a like-minded trading standards officer meant they invested in some water buffalo. We're on the site of the second largest Bronze Age settlement in Europe here. So 3,000 years ago, the ancestors of the children would have been hunting and fishing and living on the land here. So we wanted to replicate that actually out on the land. So the next day, Alex and I uh, went off and uh, came back with... Um, six water buffalo uh, which now roam across these marshes and they sort of became the mascot of the school. Following that were things like forest school which is where children learn to light fires safely and to cook over an open fire and that started to um, develop and it's a kind of organic evolving project. Mike says he couldn't do it without the support of the parents and his staff and contrary to popular belief there were no complaints about the students shooting. I've got the best group of parents you could possibly ask for, so they're all completely, they endorse everything that we do. Uh, no one's ever been critical. They like their children being outside, they like their children learning new things, whether it's shooting, whether it's preparing game, whether it's learning to use a fire or knives safely. They're 100% behind us the whole way. Alex Richards is the farm manager. His own children have been through West Rise and he believes you can see the difference. Children just need encouraging and encouragement. We've been basically teaching them how to prepare game, pluck pigeons, skin a rabbit, uh, they've breasted them, they're cooking them, also understanding where their food comes from. Just doing that little bit extra that um, achieving something themselves that they've never have dreamt of doing or even contemplated of doing. On another part of the ground, CPSA coaches are on hand to get the children hitting clays. Discipline and responsibility are again part of the lesson plan. For them it's an introductory to say actually you can do this all year round, regardless of what the weather's like, regardless of what the conditions are like, you can be outside and you can be shooting. The Countryside Alliance is right behind the strategy here and wants other schools to take the bull by the horns. We're hoping people see what's going on here at West Rise and that can be a catalyst for other schools to see that actually that's something we can be involved with too. They just need to see what these children are getting out of it. You know, it's yes, they're having a fantastic time, but they're building skills, they're working together, they're out in the great outdoors. We're always hearing about how kids need to be away from their technology, out in the countryside. That's what's happening here. And yeah, if other schools can see this and go, you know what, we want a part of that, then that's job done. That's what we're after. If you like Mike's philosophy, he's just published a book called Playing With Fire, Embracing Risk and Danger in Schools. And it explains that the authorities don't stifle children's outdoor experiences. Schools do.